大家好，欢迎嚟到 Speculation Lab。在学术界，佢十七岁考入麻省理工嘅数学系，二十三岁获得加州大学伯克利分校嘅数学博士，二十五岁成为哈佛大学嘅讲师，二十六岁进入美国 ID 国家情报组织，同时仲系麻省理工同哈佛大学嘅数学教授。三十岁前往 Stony Brook University 出任数学系主任，八年后。佢摘得咗几何学领域嘅诺贝尔奖，全美数学最高奖嘅，为布伦几何奖。自此学术生涯达到顶峰。金融界，佢四十岁后投不从容，创办咗华尔街最识赚钱嘅量化投资公司 Renaissance Technologies， 好快就成为咗全球收入最高嘅对冲基金经理。公司旗下嘅 Medallion Fund 由一九八八年到二零一八年嘅三十年间，年化复合收益率达到咗百分之三十九点一。远超过 Soros 同 Buffett， 即使系二零零八年金融危机爆发嘅时候 m i l l e n i u m Fund 都仲系获得咗百分之九十八点二嘅收益。截至二零二一年四月，基金已经管理紧一千六百五十亿美元嘅可自由支配资金。佢就系地球上最成功嘅基金经理，量化交易嘅奠基人 James Simons。Simons 喺一九三八年出世喺美国 Massachusetts 嘅一个中产家庭。佢爸爸经营紧一间鞋厂，生活相对富裕。佢自细对数学非常有兴趣，但系成长嘅环境亦都令佢早早明白到财富嘅力量。财富可以令人变得更强，可以令人更有影响力。佢相信财富可以改变世界。毫无疑问 ，Simon 热爱数学，但佢同时对钱财都有强烈嘅渴望。佢唔系嗰种唔慕名利、一心一意攀登真理、超然物外嘅学者。喺佢十八岁同第一任妻子 Barbara 结婚嗰阵，就用咗唯一嘅五千美金嘅结婚礼金去买咗大豆期货。随住大豆价格嘅飙升，浮盈一度接近翻倍。不过佢犯咗好多初入市场嘅人都会犯嘅错误，冇及时兑现收益，导致账户资金好快就被打反咗原点。虽然冇赚到钱，但投资交易嘅过山车般刺激同满足感，都喺佢心中埋咗下种子，静静等待发芽。一九六四年 ，Simons 进入美国 ID 国家情报组织工作。佢嘅同事大都同佢一样，系嚟自各个顶尖大学嘅天才专家。组织嘅任务就系维护美国嘅资讯安全，协助破解他国嘅军方密码。喺度 ，Simons 学会咗开发数学模型同读取图表，以及从杂乱无章、似乎毫无意义嘅数据中发现规律。ID 嘅在职期间 ，Simons 同几位同事利用业余时间，一齐开发咗一个新型嘅。股票交易系统，佢哋冇拣择专注于盈利、股息、公司新聞等基本面数据，而系利用能够预测股市短期行为嘅宏观变量，将股市划分成咗八种状态，然后纯粹利用数学方法去甄别当前市场所处于嘅那种状态，再利用交易模型嘅比对去购买股票。对于冇专业经济学背景嘅数学家 Simons 嚟讲，金融市场就系一堆看似杂乱无章嘅数据。佢认为其实冇必要去理解市场变化嘅每个原因，只需要揾到嗰种系统性嘅可以适应市场嘅数学模型，将佢量化就可以持续产生利润。呢种交易理念令佢成为咗利用数学模型研究市场嘅先驱，亦注定佢会喺数年后以呢种方式横扫 Wall Street。一九六七年，由于反越战嘅发言 s i m o n s 得罪咗上司，被迫退出咗 IDA， 前往 Stony Brook University 担任咗数学系主任。之后嘅十年间，佢唔单止同数学家陈醒新合作，研究出咗著名嘅唱 Simons 定理，甚至后来仲帮助杨振宁解决咗好多数学问题。Simons 嘅前半生已经足够传奇，但佢并冇停低自己嘅脚步，对钱财嘅渴望同对商业嘅好奇，终究仲系将佢引入咗一段全新嘅人生旅程。一九七八年 ，Simons 正式脱离学术界，投身金融交易，开始经营自己嘅投资公司。并将公司命名为 Money m a t r i x 呢个词系 money 钱同 e c o n o m e t r i x 计量经济学组合而成。成员系一群同 Simons 一样冇经济学背景嘅数学家，佢哋嘅目标就系开发一种高科技嘅由演算法驱动嘅自动交易系统，让电脑嚟代替人类做决定，消除情绪化交易。一九八二年，公司正式更名为 Renaissance Technologies。一九八八年 ，Simons 发起咗纯作交易嘅离岸对冲基金 m e d a l i o n Fund。随住电脑技术嘅发展以及对交易模型嘅不断优化同改良 
、Simons 嘅公司喺波动中稳步向前。佢哋通过收集产品价格、经济数据、指标数据等等，去建立数学模型，并透过杠杆进行高频交易。二零一八年 ，Simons 喺福布斯排名第二十三位。二零一九年十月，佢嘅净资产已经超过咗二百一十六亿美元。Simons 同佢嘅公司始终保持住低调同神秘，冇人知道 Medallion 分具体做嘅啲咩策略。据讲，黄牌利器系基于隐马尔可夫模型嘅损蚀策略。Simons 同解码专家 Leonard Baum 设计咗最初嘅数学模型，投资策略都系以数学同统计模型为依据，以此实现非常稳定嘅风险调整后收益。目前基金都冇对外开放，只限于内部员工进行申购。Simons 亦鲜少公开露面。大谈特谈自己嘅投资方法，但我哋依然可以从佢仅有嘅一啲访谈中窥见好多佢嘅投资哲學。第一就系、是、对数据嘅绝对重视。Simons 嘅团队好早就开始建立自己嘅数据库，利用电脑从海量嘅历史数据中挖掘出一啲持续嘅、不断重复嘅价格规律，通过分析旧有嘅市场走势嚟寻找可能适用于而家嘅一致性模式，嚟提出投资建议。The real thing was to gather a tremendous amount of data, and, and、uh, we had to get it by hand in the early days. We went down to the Federal Reserve and copied interest rate histories and stuff like that because it didn't exist on computers. We we got a lot of data, and very smart people, and、uh, that was the that was the key. 第二系永远忠于自己嘅交易模型，正如 Simon 所言，人类嘅主观干预。其实系造成好多危机嘅根源性因素，比如如果喺市场上蚀咗钱，我哋总会觉得压力好大。虽然用理性判断出嚟，过段时间会大升，但都会忍唔住将佢卖掉。贪婪恐惧呢啲情绪，仲会反过嚟更加加剧市场嘅动荡，令我哋掉入市场嘅陷阱，每时每刻都备受折磨。所以 Renaissance 嘅宗旨系系统决定一切。You know,、uh, we... Renaissance is 100% model driven. No trade is ever made because someone walks into the trading room and says, "Hey, let's buy IBM. It's a sure winner," or anything like that.、Uh, you know, we got too much、uh, Google. We got to show it. Got to. Nobody does that. It may be that we had too much Google, but nonetheless,、uh, he might have been right. But、uh, it's just what the model says, and. That religious sticking to the model is the only way you can run such a business because you cannot simulate that guy who walked in and said, "Hey, let's、uh, Google's too high, let's sell it." How can you simulate that? You don't know what might have happened, but you can simulate a, you can come up with a model or a new predictor, and you can simulate it in the past and see how did it do. So、uh, you have to stick to it. 佢哋唔止对波动嘅数字进行建模，都系对人类嘅心理进行建模。而 Millennium 分喺市场越动荡不安嘅关键年份，越系展现咗无与伦比嘅优势。一九九四年美联储六次加息，佢哋嘅收益却高达百分之七十一。二零零零年互联网泡沫爆发，佢哋嘅基金绩效高达百分之九十八。二零零八年金融危机，喺美国金融界遭遇海啸嘅时候。m e d a l l i o n 分都仲系获得咗百分之九十八点二嘅收益。二零一八年嘅全球熊市中，喺全体对冲基金嘅平均报酬率都呈现咗负值嘅情况下 m e d a l l i o n 分仍然保持正收益。量化交易终归有悖于人性，即使系天才嘅数学家，都无法抑制自己根据主观直觉做交易嘅冲动。Renaissance 最早期嘅成员之一 Leonard Baum， 佢系著名嘅 Baum Web 算法嘅发明者之一。呢种算法。而家已经被认为系二十世纪机器学习最亮眼嘅突破，唔单止赋能咗世界上第一个语音识别系统，甚至深深影响咗 Google 搜索引擎嘅开发。但佢后期却过度依赖分析新闻，同地缘政治做事件性投资，在债券市场中折戟，由此触发咗同 Simons 协议嘅自动条款，被逼退场。第三系要同聪明嘅人一齐工作，虽然大多数嘅数学家。都俾人一种独来独往嘅感觉，但 Simons 却唔系咁样。I think so. People say what's the secret sauce? But the secret sauce was really in the first instance having very smart people working for the firm. We, we were academics ourselves. We had an idea of who was a good scientist and who wasn't, and we brought in and continued to bring in 
excellent people, not just mathematicians, but uh, computer scientists, statisticians, uh, experimental physicists, uh, uh, astronomers. We got four or five astronomers who are good. They, they look at data. They, they can't do experiments. They have to. You can't make this star bump into that star. You just have to <laughs> have to take it as it is, and that's you know, and, and uh, make models. So, uh, great scientists. We built a terrific infrastructure. The computer guys are, t are wonderful. Uh, so we take in, uh, I think it takes in uh, nine, nine terabytes a day of data comes into that outfit. And it all gets stored and organized and, and, and dished up to the researchers and so on. So it's a great infrastructure. It's an open atmosphere. Everybody knows what everybody else is doing. And every, every week there's a research meeting. If you've had a good idea that you, you think it's going to go somewhere, you present it. If it looks good, it's, it goes to a small meeting. People vet it more carefully. But there aren't little groups uh, working in the dark. Oh, this is my little system, and I want you to use it. So, and that's the best way to do science, I think, uh, in, a, in a collaborative manner. Sure, you don't immediately, the first time you, get, you have a thought, you don't run down the hallway saying, I have a thought. But, uh, you know, you test it out a little bit. But, uh, so I think that's, that's a very good way to do things. 第四個是永不言棄。在Simons的一生中,大部分時間都在解決難題同應對挑戰,但他從未有過放棄。再到華爾街最偉大的投資人,他將自己成功的最後一個被決歸結為Hope for Good Luck. And my final principle is uh, hope for good luck. <laughs> that's it. So thank you very much. 好了,娛樂節目沒有任何投資建議,check一下是否點擊了Subscribe,以免錯過更有利可圖的Trading System。我們下次見了。